That's it. Perfect. The RPM right there. Then we'll switch to here, top left, in a moment. 1,000. Oh, this is too loud. Too loud. How's that? Okay. That's better. So this right here, this small knob controls how you okay. hear yourself. And one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, good. That's good. Okay, boost off. And then yes, yep. Solid. Good, yeah, we can get the flaps up. And then we'll do this. And then the fuel. 10, 20. That's 25. 25 and... 28. 25 and 28, so 53. Okay. There we go. Fuel done. There we go. There we have it, and then... Go. And then unlimited. There we go. Do you uh, lean for a taxi? Yes. We Yeah, we could lean a little bit. And we said 53 on the fuel. 53. There we go. Look at that, Arno. Welcome to Torrance. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Are you familiar with the 430s? Well, somewhat. A little bit. There we go. Okay. Solid. Okay. So now frequency wise, I tend to go 80s and ground, and that's our approach. Perfect. Yep. That's that's uh. Perfect. So 80s is, is one two five point six. Okay. And I don't know. Uh, this is what uh, so SoCal. That no. So this is ground, and that's 80s. And so, so it's Torrance Ground. Uh, Torrance Ground, okay. okay. And then Torrance and Tower. And Tower is 24 point. So there's two tower frequencies here at Torrance. One uh. is 124.0, one is 133.075. There's two runways. So 29 or right, which is the north runway, is 133.075. So we'll actually be using that one, which is already in there. That's now. for the 25 right. 29 or right. Uh, 29, 29 or right. Correct. So we have it. And 127.2. So the departure frequency we will get when we get the IFR to VFR on top, part okay. of that clearance will be a departure frequency. So okay. we'll write that down and we'll see what they give us. Okay. Okay, okay. So the um, the runway heading is... So then let's see, let's, for, let's go to the run-up area. We'll get a okay. IFR to VFR on top and then we'll see what they want us to do in terms of altitude and heading okay. and things like that. Easy? Very good. Solid. Easy schmazoo. Easy <laughs> schmazoo. <laughs> Cameras are rolling? Cameras are rolling. So I pretend they're not there. I say, hello world. <laughs> so. Look at that. Where are you from, Arne? You want to tell people where you came from? I am an uh, Italian guy living in Belgium. Look at that. And uh, dreaming of California. <laughs> <laughs> not so much a dream at this point. Oops. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, essential bus is uh, slightly low, so we don't. Okay, good. good. And then over here, let's see charging. So the electrical system looks good. We can turn these three lights on. Uh, nav, yep. strobe, and even land. You can turn that on for taxi, and then the pedo heat's right over there. We don't need it right now, but that's. Uh, it's all at. two RPMs are probably too low to charge. Correct. The all two will when the power go, goes go up. up. Correct. Okay. Uh, do we have a taxi uh, view here? Yes. There we go. So we are over here, and okay. we will go to this right over there. For run up. Correct. Right. So, so what we'll do is we'll. It's a right. Uh, yep, well, a left and then a right. So what we'll do is we'll go all the way straight to the end, and then at the end here, we'll get on with ground, and then we will request taxi to the run up. But on the way there, we'll listen to the ATIS, so we'll just switch that. Back for the vicinity of Torrance, contact flight service for more information. Multiple cranes in the vicinity of You want to check your airplane? Your airplane? My plane? Use cost for burn activity in the vicinity of the airport. Okay, my airplane. Your airplane. 
Transit is flood information for California Coastal Waters available on flight service frequencies. Water copy back hold short instructions are nice Samuel call sign. Advising his contact give information. Papa. 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 What about the car here? Twenty South Mason Papa. Good, we call the water to the right. Four seven zero with a wind. One five zero at seven. Visibility six. Missed. Six hundred scattered. Ceiling eight hundred overcast. Temperature one nine or two point one eight. Altimeter 2987. Alright, so now 2-9 right circle, north to land or noise 1-1, one, one, left in use landing and important noise 1-1. One, one. Uh, Born tire frequency 133.07. 2-9 or 87. Multiple yep. TFRs in effect in the vicinity of LAX and surrounding areas. Check notams and flight service for more information. That's one zero zero. There we go. So we have information, but fine. Actually, it looks like runways 1-1s one, are in use. 1-1. One, one. So that would be these runways. So that would probably be uh, Juliet Alpha. It will be Alpha all the way down to the end, uh, which is Bravo. So Alpha Bravo to one one left, I believe. Our so we do the run up someplace else. Correct on that side. So uh, what we'll do, do right? Don't we have to call ground at this point? Yep. So we'll call ground. So right now it's on ground. Okay. And request for the clearance. Yep. So we'll say, do you want me to do some radio calls, or do you want to do them? I would like to. Let's do it. Just, uh, so we'll say um, Torrance Ground, um, uh, Cirrus Niner 66 Tango Tango, mm -hmm. over at the East Tees, ready to taxi with Papa. Okay. You drop the uh, the November. Yeah, you could just say uh, Cirrus okay. Niner 66 Tango Tango. So we are on uh, ground right here. On two ground. Okay. Yep. And it's Torrance Ground. Yep. Do it with a Texas accent. Torrance <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ground, good morning, Cirrus November 6, 6, Tango Tango. Morning. You, could, you could just say the whole thing. <laughs> okay, November 6, 6, Tango, Tango at uh, East uh, T Hangars with information Papa request uh, taxi. taxi. Cirrus uh, 6, 6, Tango Tango, only 11 left taxi, Alpha Bravo. Uh, one one left. One, way, one one left via Alpha, Alpha and, and it's Bravo. Nine or six six. Nine or six six Tango Tango. Perfect. Nine or six six Tango Tango. Good. Nine or six six Tango Tango. And what's your intentions today? I uh, okay. I would be looking for um, IFR to VFR on top if possible for six Tango Tango. And your equipment stuff. Appreciate it. What, what did you say? On request. Getting a lot of static on your radio. What was your equipment stuff you came in? What's your destination? Was that for 6 Tango Tango? Hey, bro. So we're headed to uh, special flight rules and then over to Camp Rio for 6 Tango Tango. Nice guy. And uh, your equipment stuff. Yeah, we're a Cirrus uh, SR-22 Slank Golf. So that's like... Is that thank you too in Belgium? The yep. double... Look at that, so just what we anticipated. So, 1-1 one, one left via Alpha Bravo. Okay, some taxi checks. So, heading right, showing a right turn. Turning left, brick to the right. Look at that. Look how organized you are, it's incredible. You did this after a long flight. Yes. Wow. Man. We're ready to roll. I love it. Absolutely phenomenal. If he comes back and says that the clearance is ready, mm. if we're ready to copy, I'll say stand by because I want you to copy it. Okay. So that'll be good practice. Unless he just throws dumps it on us. Which happened to me before. They just, they didn't even ask if we're ready. Yes, yeah, so this is the Robertson, Robertson uh, factory. factory. There's the tower, and then there's more hangars and more planes. This is a big airport. And where's the fuel uh, station? The fuel station it will be up here on the left in a little bit. I'll show you. Cell fuel. You can see the windsock that is favoring. One one. One ones. Yep. Yeah. Solid. Absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> So the fuel. 
Tango, Tango, I have your clearance, what I believe. We'll advise you in a moment, thanks so much, uh, 6 Tango. See the yellow? Oh, yeah. That's the fuel right there. Good, I'm really excited. You'll get to see what, uh, have you ever done IFR to VFR on top? Nope. No, yeah, so it's, it's a, again, it's a tool. I always talk about tools that we have as pilots. It's a tool that we can deploy at any time, of course, if you have an instrument rating, True. to just get away, right? We just want to get out of here. Up above is sunny. The sun is shining today. You'll need your sun, you have sunglasses? Yep. Okay, there you go, sun is shining, you'll need sunglasses. We just want to get out of here. So IFR to VFR on top is a tool we have in our back pocket that we could pull out every once in a while, and we could use it. And um, and that's the thing I love about flying. We have all these different tools, and it's just a matter of knowing what to pull out when. It's like having a it's having a shop with tools in it, and uh, that's how I think of it. But today you'll see the layer will break out on top, and you'll see the layer from it. It should not be that thick. It's you know what? An hour and a half ago it was nine hundred bottom. 1900, 2000 tops, so about a thousand foot thick. Uh, I'm going with, it's probably the same. So it's Bravo on the right? Bravo, yep. And you see the run up area right here on the left? In there? Okay. Oh, the pad on the left? Yep. Okay. So we could just go all the way to the far corner, and then 1 1 left is right there. The runway. So this is even better for us for special flight rules because departing this way will go away from LAX for a moment to gain altitude to 4,500 feet. Arno, I'm honored that you flew out from Belgium <laughs> to fly with me. It's a long way. <laughs> it's a long ways out. <laughs> Probably one of the longest uh, distance uh, pupils, you, uh, students you have. <laughs> yes, Belgium. That's a first. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, look at that. Perfect. Okay. Good. So what we will do right now is let's go ahead and copy the clearance, and then we'll do the run-up, just take it off his hands. So here's this. Okay. And whenever you get a chance, you could say ground Cirrus Niner 66 Tango Tango, ready to copy. Ground Cirrus November 66 Tango Tango is ready to copy, and please be mindful I am a foreign pilot. Cirrus 66 Tango Tango, uh, Roger. You're up here to the limbo intersection. We are climbing a left turn heading 290. Intercept the LAS 170 radial to limbo. Climb to and report via four on top. Last, last reported top is 1,700. If not on top by 3,000, maintain a 3,000 and it's by. Soul Cal departure frequency is 134.9er. Squawk four seven two four. November two six six Tango Tango is clear to nine, the nine, nine or six six Tango Tango. Oh, I'm sorry, November is nine or six six Tango Tango is clear to Limbo intersection via left climbing turn heading two nine or zero to intercept uh, LAX radial one seven zero to Limbo climbing to three thousand feet. Departure frequency 124.9, squawk 4724. There's a 6 Tango Tango, I think you said it, but a departure frequency is 134.9 or 134 Niner, and that's going to be back track. 134 Niner for the, for the uh, departure frequency. There's a 6 Tango Tango, we're back track, and your uh, I part of your front time for this. We'll go uh, November 6, 6 Tango Tango. Perfect. Solid work. But I it, actually heard one two four nine as well. So, but it did something else about if not on top by one thousand seven hundred or something. three thousand. He, he said something about one thousand seven hundred. He said last reported tops were one thousand seven hundred. Okay, got it. Yeah. So, so we can as we there. anticipated, the layer is getting a little thinner. So what we'll do is let's build it. So the first thing is we're going to an intersection called Limbo. So what we could do right here is direct. And then we could plug in limbo, L-I-M-B-O. Look at that, we're the only ones here. <laughs> Enter. And then 
and yep, it's in the southwest of the United States, and then activate. Good, so now we'll see a line right here from us too, if we go there in the map. There's Limbo right there. See that? So LAX is here, Limbo's there. This is north, north up? Correct, north up, yep. Okay. Yep. So 1-1 one, one goes that way? So 1-1 one, one, one goes this way, and then the one seven zero radio goes from LAX pretty much straight to Limbo. The 170 crosses the Limbo uh, intersection. Okay. So what it wants us to do is a climbing left turn, mm -hmm. heading 290, yep. to intercept the 170 back to Limbo, and that's, of course, in the event of lost comms. As long as we have communication with them, we won't even do any of that, and we will, in fact, reach uh, VFR conditions much sooner than that. We'll cancel IFR. Okay. So, so we need to put in uh, LAX of uh, UR. Correct. Exactly. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and press, it's on VLOC, yep. so that's good. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and plug in over here, 113.6, which is the LAX frequency, and then move that to the active. Good. Okay, and the course. Uh, right. And then right over here, Okay. If you, if you move that. There you go, the course. You could do the 132. Or you can do the reciprocal. Uh, we want to go south. We actually want to go north, northwest bound. So let's put 312 in the so course. It's, it's okay, 312. Yep, for the reciprocal. Now, when you're hand flying, it doesn't matter. You could put 132. But with the autopilot, remember, and you, if you're in nav mode and the autopilot's tracking the VOR, it, it, will, send you, uh, it, will, it will fly backwards. It, not backwards, it'll turn around and fly the 132 outbound. So we'll do the course, the reciprocal, 312. I'm it's sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of special flight rules. One seven zero. Okay. LAX one seven zero. So we need to put one seven zero on the course. Okay, but we, then we will go north. No, so we want to go south. I oh, was thinking please. north. So, so the it's, special it's, it's one seven zero. I was thinking ahead. Yep, one seven zero. You were right. There we go. Solid. So one one three point six and one seven zero. So that's the LAX VOR and one seven zero. Ground November seven eight seven six. I was thinking of the one three two radio. Hotel, uh, request a taxi back. I'd like to pick up an IFR VOR on top. I was thinking so. of um, the uh, Santa Monica one three two radio. Okay. Uh, which will put the reciprocal three one two. Um, anyhow, so limbo. Mm -hmm. LAX one seven zero. Once we take off, we'll get that needle. Right now we're two. Uh, we're not in range, and then we need to, we'll climb and maintain 4,500 actually, so if you want to press this, the altitude bug, and then this controls exactly, so four, good, there we go, so we have that in the window, and but he said 3,000, he didn't say maintain 3,000, he said if not on top, and if not on top by three, at 3,000, maintain 3,000 feet uniform, and advise. Now, future, uh, so last reported were 1,700. I anticipate to be on top at 16, 1,700. Okay. Makes sense? So a general awareness. Uh, we start here. Correct. With a left turn out. Fine now. It's not a problem. Heading 290, two which is that way. You already put 290 on the heading. Good. To, uh, uh, Two nine zero. zero yep. yep. To intercept this uh, radial. Correct. And once we intercept it, we go south to Limbo. To Limbo. Correct. And then we see what happens. Correct. But we won't do that. Okay. You will cancel as soon as it's on top. In reality, he'll tell us to contact departure. We'll contact departure, and if we didn't lose comms and we're on with departure, departure will tell us what to do. Correct. But we will maintain runway heading, and we will break out on top. We anticipate no later than two thousand feet, and then we'll cancel. And then we'll be on top, we'll be VFR, and then we'll delete all this, forget about everything, and then we'll do LA special flight rules. Good. Just like we discussed. Uh, so now we need to put uh, this uh, departure frequency no, here, 134.9. Right. Solid. Solid. So you see why we waited? Because we didn't know which frequency they would give us. Okay. So 13 feet, 1349. There you go. Okay, squawk. Right here. It's okay. It's 4, 7, 2, 4. Two, four Solid. It's altitude already? Yep. Yeah, we leave it on altitude. So now, just when we think we're done, we'll go through it, the clearance and we'll make sure that we hit everything. So, limbo, we have limbo. Oh, limbo. Climbing left turn to 29 or 0. It's on 29 or 0. Okay. LAX 170. LAX 170. Uh, the frequency, I did not check. It's 113.6. One, 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 correct. Okay. Yep. And then 4724. 
on this clock. We're climbing to 45. If we're not on top by 3,000, we'll advise and maintain. Okay. Now, a little bit of uh, a briefing. Uh -huh. So we're not, we'll, we'll do the run up and then we'll briefly. Uh, okay. So we do the run up. Yeah. It's uh, 1,700. Correct. So you can leave the fuel pump off. And then we'll do 1,700, so RPM is right over here, and then engine indications are here. Oh, there's no one in, an engine page? There's, there you go. Okay. Cool. RPM's right there. Okay, what was that fix again uh, after the, uh, the LAX 170 year radio? There you go. Okay. And then we could turn on pitot heat. Pitot heat. Turn on charging. It's good. And then we could go and check the max. So we're starting 1740. Right. VFR on top. 134. 20. Back to both. Left. 30. 40. Yep. Last for the bases were at 900. Okay. Both within range, back on both. Back on we can turn the pedo heat both. off. Unload. Yep, and okay. then we could do idle. Oh, the car beat, there is none. The vacuum system, and there no is vacuum. no and idle. That's a Cessna thing. <laughs> a vacuum pump. So idle here is like nice, it's like, it's high, it's like a thousand. It's high, yeah. yeah. So there we go. Okay. So we're good for that. Um, we can go check flaps 50. Check, check full flaps. So. One left for six, seven, six, seven, seven. And they're working. One. Full. Back to 50. There you go. And we could even check the autopilot. So hit the autopilot. Autopilot on. That's good. And we could actually see that we could overpower the servos. Okay. And, and uh, I could double tap the red. Do you double tap? Double tap, yep. One is for the disconnect, the other one is to make the sound go away. Okay. Autopilot is ready. Okay. Okay, good. Pretty much ready for the... Uh, we could brief, yep. Brief. Absolutely. And before we take off, I want to make sure that your situational awareness is as high as it can be. So take all the time you need to figure out mentally what direction we're facing, where we're going, what we're doing. So picture the operation in your head, and then we'll go ahead and execute it. Okay, so I would like to have this here. So we take off, turn left, climbing back to 290 to intercept the radial. And then uh, wait for the for the sun. Uh, probably be told to contact departure. Right now, a little bit for more situation awareness. This runway is one one. The recip the opposite runway, the opposite direction is two nine er. Yes. Right. Oh, okay. So, so so he told us to turn to two ninety. So pretty so much we we're doing. The, uh, it's a downwind. It's a left downwind departure. Think of it that way. So okay. there's not it does not make sense. To keep it simple. So we'll take off. And then we'll turn, ground, six uh, six unless, seven. of course, so at 400 feet, we'll turn 290. Okay. Unless, of course, well, yeah, we won't like contact you, uh, departure by then. So we'll be turning you, uh, 290 while climbing uh, to 4,500 feet. Third okay, that airport, good. Uh, Easy. Six, seven, six, now, would you like to hand fly it? Yes, yes, yes. Let's yes. do it. Solid. And so we'll do 290. Um, because it's an unfamiliar plane to you and we're going to be in the clouds, I will handle the radios. Okay, uh, with departure in the clouds, because I okay. want to keep your plate not that full. Yeah. So don't worry about radios. We'll do t you'll do tower radio, but then from takeoff all the way until I give you the radios back, just fly the airplane. Okay. Easy? Okay. Solid. Uh, initial heading with, uh, pitch would be like, what, 7.5? Uh, 7.5? Uh, 5... Five to seven point five. We'll see what what okay. what pit what uh, results in a hundred knots. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's too late to switch now. Well, you can switch. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. Absolutely. So we'll do our um, takeoff flow. So the way I think of it so is this off. is the roundabout, this it's throttle, and then we go start over here. So fuel pump on, fuel selector fullest tank, mixture full rich, flaps 50, recirc mode is off, lights are on, and then trim set for takeoff. Trim. So we'll go ahead and trim around. So between the T and the O, and then we'll look at the ailerons and make sure they're flush with the wing, which looks good.
Looks good. Okay. There we go. Now we'll do a takeoff briefing. So takeoff briefing, I would say that's to brief the emergencies. Correct. Yep. So if we have uh, an uh, abnormal situation, oh, they're landing uh, to nine. Oh, look at that. Uh, if we have an abnormal situation, whatever, uh, while on the ground before rotation, I just uh, cut the power, stop the airplane, and uh, exit first to the right uh, available. If we have uh, a serious emergency or engine failure while airborne, and we still have uh, runway in front of us, we just uh, cut the power. I'd probably go full flaps, push the nose uh, over, and uh, and reland on the remaining runway. Uh huh. Now, if we have a failure, engine failure, uh, and we do not have enough uh, runway remaining in front of us, our altitude now is, uh, what, uh, 100 feet? If it's below 700 feet, it's a try to find something to land, which is not easy, I guess, but we do whatever we can. Uh -huh. And uh, above, uh, s starting at 700 feet, we uh, pull caps immediately. Cool. Which is available pin removed. Any questions? Solid. Uh, obviously in the soup, uh, in the clouds, That's if we lose an engine, ready, we'll just pull caps. Because um, we Very won't assume that enough. we could get under it and because it looks like it's six, eight hundred feet, okay. uh, the, the basis. Okay. Otherwise, uh, we'll have a lot of fun. Good to see you, Arna. Okay. All right. So we don't need this anymore? Yeah. There you go. There you are. So we could, uh, before we actually go there, let's get on with, uh, uh, actually you said contact tower, so let's go ahead and switch to, uh, just press this. There you go. And we could say Torrance Tower, Cirrus Niner 66 Tango Tango, uh, run up complete, ready for takeoff, uh, IFR to VFR on top. Torrance Tower, uh, good morning, Cirrus November 966 Tango, Tango, uh, run up uh, complete, and Bravo for 1-1 one, one left, uh, ready to uh, IFR to VFR on top. Cirrus November 66 Tango, Tango, Torrance Tower, Roger, stand by, it's going to be a good 10, possibly 15 minutes, oh. uh, you're on request. Oh boy. Copy that, uh, 6 Tango, Tango. Why 15 minutes? Using the so we can uh, let's lean the mixture now. Here. Lean the mixture. Look at that! The whole world woke up. All of a sudden. The whole world woke up. Yeah, they're doing I part of VFR on top too. That is interesting. Why we're on. Yeah, sure. so on the Hopefully it gets back to us in like a minute. So it's one five two Echo, Torrance Tower, the wind is calm. Yeah. Are you able to take two nine right for landing? Two point seven uh, fuel flow. It's a slight tailwind, it's no it's up to five right now, but it hasn't really been higher than five. Runway two nine or right, clear to land. Two nine right, clear to land, one five two Lima Echo. Test the lights. So they're all working. Okay. Neat, neat little plane. Neat little plane. What's the oldest Cirrus you've flown? 2006. 2006. A G3 SR20. How's your understanding of how the instruments work? The altimeter and airspeed indicator. What do you mean? Their function, how they function, the internal components how they are able to generate an indication for us. So the airspeed and altitude, they're part of the uh, old plumbing of the uh, static and uh, pitot system. The attitude indicator on this plane is electric, I assume, because there is no uh, vacuum. vacuum. The altitude itself is uh, solely based on the uh, static port on the left-hand side. Uh, of the plane, on, on both sides of the plane. Two statics, yep. And then we have an alternate static right over here. And the alternate static is here. And this is done calculating both ram air pressure into pitot and subtracting the uh, static pressure from uh, 
Good. So what goes, what types of pressure, what type of pressure or types of pressure enter the pitot tube? Total pressure. Which is made up of? Uh, dynamic pressure and static pressure. Perfect. But we don't care about the static pressure. So we want to throw it away. So. And the way we cancel it out is by introducing static pressure to the outer casing to press against it. So we have ram plus dynamic plus static battling it out with static. Mm -hmm. And we're left with dynamic. That's our net. And that uh, shows us our airspeed. Perfect. Okay. Good. And then here with the altimeter, we have what two types of pressures battling it out? Pressing against each other. Inside the case, inside the um, um, aneroid wafers, we have... The static pressure on one side. Good. Static pressure is the outer casing. And inside we have 2992 inches of mercury worth of pressure, which is basically standard sea level. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what it's predicated off of, the pressure altimeter. And then we have current static battling it out with the 2992 inches of mercury. Oh, inside the, the, the wafer is... Correct. It's the standard pressure always. It's the sea level standard. Yep. Correct. And it's trapped. Six it's six always, six always, always, eye, always that way. Seven, 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 always. Seven, 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 so, seven, 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 Roger, number three, um, probably 10, 15 minutes. Roger, six, five, seven. And the... Um, so let's think about it with the altimeter. We have trapped 2992 inches of mercury. Forever. Forever. It's always trapped. It can't, nothing changes in there. And then we have on the outside of it, current static. So here's how an indication is generated. As we climb, as we take off and climb up into the atmosphere and climb up in altitude, what happens to our static pressure around us? It decreases. Decreases. So that given 2992 inches of mercury, will expand. it will expand. And as that expands, it generates an increased indication on the altimeter phase. As we descend from altitude down to a lower altitude or higher pressure, the static outside of it presses it down. And as that aneroid wave has decreased, it shows a decrease of uh, an indication on the phase. So basically it's a pressure altitude. A hundred percent. And that's why we call it a pressure altimeter. That's also why I tell people that the only thing in the airplane that knows how high the airplane is above the ocean sea level is the pilot. The altimeter has no clue where sea level is. All the altimeter knows to do is show you a height above, above or below, the standard, uh, uh, above or below a given pressure. It would be above the standard datum plane if you put uh, if we had no Colesman window because we have a Colesman window we're able to tell it I don't care about 2992 because 2992 most days isn't even found at sea level so that doesn't do me any good so if I want my altimeter to show me height above sea level I better tell it what pressure is currently found at sea level pull up and hold short runway 11 left Pull up and hold short, uh, one one left, uh, six tango tango. Look at that. Seven, six, uh, uniform, we're going to get the Cirrus out first. He's going to be a, a little bit faster, and then we should get to release right after. There's multiple departures, just trying to be a little bit more efficient. Yeah, sure thing, 7-6 uniform. There's a plane taking off. There we are, look at that. Solid. I typically put the landing on when I'm clear to take Let's off. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want you to fly the plane like uh, Arno flies Mexico. the plane. Uh, Fable, turn left to Charlie. If you need to overshoot it, just make a 180 back to Charlie. We can make Charlie to Lemeco. Put you Lemeco, thank you. You can go ahead and contact ground. All right. Ground to Lemeco. Zero six Tango Tango. Um, if you can just uh, expedite your climb so you can get VFR so we can get these departures out as well. Runway one one left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on one land and. Uh, left and expedite the climb. Six tango tango. Final looks clear. Landing lights on. And forget about numbers and screen. I want you to have a little bit of back pressure on the takeoff roll and the plane that way you're giving it the opportunity to speak to you. And I want you to listen to what it says. And whenever it's ready to go fly, you will feel and see it. And so we'll just sort of... That's good, because we'll leave the 290 to turn to it. Okay, take off power. Good, airspeed is alive, engine Air indications speed. are all on the green. Both places. Now increase the back pressure, and we're off. There we go. 
Look at that. And you could reduce that pitch attitude a little bit to get above 90. There okay. we go. Positive rate of climb right. and flaps up. Good work. When do we go head in the cockpit? Before, traffic. Traffic. Before or when we reach the clouds? I would say slightly before. Good. So I would say keep your head in the cockpit now. That way there were, we're changing very little. Let's maintain 100 knots. That way we're changing very little by the time we reach the clouds. clouds. So 100 knots, we need to increase our pitch. See that? We're 115, 114. There you go. So head in the cockpit. We could start turning left to 290. or zero. Good. And here we go into the soup in a moment. And I'll just, I got the radios. Tango, Tango, just verify you in that climbing left hand turn heading 290. Climbing left turn, and if you care, to, uh, bottoms were 900 feet, 6 down. Tango, Tango, thank you, and contact SoCal departure. Have a good day. Off to departure, thanks to that 6 down. All right, let's do 100 knots. Good work. Nice work. Here's 15. Zero after Santa Monica, 16 from. And I could feel we're coming out on top. Good job. There's 100 knots. We'll keep the turn coming. We have 90 degrees left to go. Good work. There's 16. Fantastic. Yeah, SoCal, good morning. Uh, Cirrus 966 six, Tango Tango is 1,700, climbing uh, 4,500. And uh, if you care, tops are 1,700. We just popped out on top. Six downtown. Thank you, Cirrus uh, 966 six, Tango Tango. So Delta departure, I dense. And uh, LA altimeter is 2987. 2987. And uh, we'd actually like to cancel IFR at this time. We are in VFR conditions. We make it November to 6, Tango Tango, IFR, uh, your radar contact, one mile east of Torrance Airport out of 2200, and IFR cancellation received, resume on navigation, maintain VFR. All right, position checks, IFR cancellation, and uh, VFR, thanks so much, uh, 6 Tango Tango. Look at that. Now you can look outside, look at that. Wow. Sunny out here. Six Tango Tango, did you want to continue flight following, or did you want to go to the special flight rules? Special flight rules, 6 Tango Tango. Is that November 6, Tango Tango, just be advised, there is uh, traffic, um, Currently at Beam Santa Monica, they're going to be headed southeast down opposite direction. The Cessna Skyhawk will level at 4,000 feet. No other traffic observed in the Special Flight Rules Corridor right now. Uh, radar service terminated. Swap 1201 and frequency change approved. All right, 1201, frequency change approved. Thanks for your help, uh, 6 down here. All right, 1201. Okay, so we're climbing. You to got 4, the radios 000. now. 4,500 uh, feet. Correct. And then what we'll do is we'll go to VLOG 2. And we'll go and put 110.8, which is what I plugged in there. And there's 312, the course. Actually, it's showing 110. Oh, it's this one. It, okay, let me do this. VLOC 1, 110.8. And we'll do 312. There we go. There we are. So we can see it's to our right. So let's go to the right. It goes this way right here. So now we could put the heading bug right on the extended center line of that needle, and we could intercept that. There's 38 coming up on 45, 2855 on the active of COM 1. We got 1201 in here, so right now we're on the LA Special Flight Rules frequency. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? It's sunny wow. outside. Oh, mountains. Uh huh. So the marine, the layer pretty much ends right there. You can see it. See where it ends? Oh, yes. Yep. How's the airplane? Good. Great airplane. 200 to go. Good work. Solid. You see, we have a little bit of right, so let's go a little more than we typically would. Good work, solid. There's 45 coming up. And then we'll pull back to 55% power because they don't want us going faster than 140 indicated through LA Special Flight Rules. Needles coming in slowly, so we could do perfect, solid. 
Yeah, so with this plane specifically, the tendency when you go forward is to do a little bit of left uh, trim. Okay. So just we'll be cognizant of that, and then you can just correct for that with the right. Uh, there we go. So sadly, there's a layer, but LAX Airport is literally right under this layer. Um, but that's fine. We'll just imagine that we see it. There we go. So here's what I want you to do with the radio call. We'll say LA special flight rules. White Cirrus, 4,500 feet, heading north westbound over Imperial Highway. How do you know it's Imperial Highway? Because I know the area. Okay. LA special flight rules. No tail sign? Tail, tail, uh, no, just White Cirrus. Right. Yep. Traffic. Now let's Traffic. Go left because the needle's coming in. LA special flight rule, Cirrus, a uh, white Cirrus. Traffic, traffic. Over at uh, uh, Imperial Highway, 4,500 feet northwest bound. LA special flight rules. LA special flight rules. Solid. Look at that. So right here, we're, there's LAX, the runways. And right here, we're about to enter LA class Bravo. And we don't need to talk with anyone. We're on our own special frequency. So now, look at this. You, my friend, are flying right over oh, LAX over runways. Where I landed yesterday. Look at that. Right over LAX. You see 25 left? Just like we talked about on the whiteboard. There we go. Absolutely solid. Could you see LA through the clouds, the airport down there? No, totally no. closed. Totally. All right, we could make another call and say LA Special Flight Rules, White, Se White Cirrus is uh, 4,500 heading northwest bound over LAX. LA Special Flight Rules, White Cirrus, 4,500 feet northwest bound over at uh, LAX, uh, uh, Los Angeles Special Flight Rules. Solid. Good work. Now, the closer we get to the VOR, that needle will start getting erratic. Eventually, right over the VOR, there'll be a full-scale deflection. Yep. So from this just point on, yeah, main, just maintain the setting. Maintain the heading. That's perfect. That's perfect. And that's the Santa Monica VOR right there that we're headed towards. We can make another call when you get a chance uh, over Bologna Creek. LA Special Flight Rule, White Service over Bologna Flight Creek, 4,500 feet, northwest bound. LA Special Flight Rules. Solid. Absolutely solid. Good job flying the airplane. Like the autopilot flying. See now, I am 80 feet traffic, traffic. too high. At this point, do you want me to reduce power? No, you don't. No, you it's don't just too small of a connection. You don't want to touch the power. Okay. So here's the thing at cruise. You ready for this? Yep. At cruise, your here's the difference between climb and cruise. Both in, in both climb and cruise, your power is constant, right? In both climb and cruise, your power is constant, right? Yes. So what's the difference? In climb, your power is constant, and our speed is constant. Our pitch varies. VY, right? Okay. Constant speed. How do you maintain VY as you climb up and performance decreases? You reduce pitch attitude. So our pitch varies, but our speed and power are constant, right? At cruise, our power is constant, our pitch is constant, and our speed varies. Does so you let sense? the speed vary. I don't care about the speed at cruise, exactly. I care about my altitude. Forget even pitch. I don't say pitch. My altitude and power are constant in cruise, and my speed varies. In a climb, my power and my speed are constant. My pitch attitude varies. Does that make sense? So I can slightly change my pitch and cruise. Absolutely. You don't want to touch the power and cruise. Let's make another call over Santa Monica, and then we'll include in that call last, we'll say last call. LA special flight rule, white Cirrus over at Santa Monica, 4,500 feet, last call, LA special flight rules. And you, my friend, just flew LA special flight rules. Nope. <laughs> Easy. Easy. So you say... Easy. Huh? It's clearing up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It should be nice and sunny and uh, clear in Camarillo. So let's go ahead and press this, go back to GPS mode. There we are. And now what we'll do is uh, let's go ahead. Give me a heading. You see that heading bug? Give me a heading of 300.
turn the fuser. Let's go ahead and squawk VFR, so we'll press this VFR button. Good. Solid. Good work. And we'll maintain 4,500, because remember, here's the class Bravo. Starts That's at 5,000. So we'll make we'll be cognizant of that. Do Perfect. you want me to to lean? Yes, let's lean the mixture. Uh, by fuel flow, or so you want to take it to fourteen hundred on the uh, fourteen hundred on the GT? GTs. Yep. Hold on a second. There you go. That's good. Look at that. How pretty that is. Oh, With the clouds. Malibu, so... So this is the valley? Oh, yes. There's an airport there. Uh-huh, Simi Valley, that's Van Nuys, and to the right of it is Burbank. Another airport? Uh-huh. Yeah, so that's Van Nuys. And then we're flying right over Calabasas. What's Calabasas? It's just an area. It's a small little city. Oh. Uh, Woodland Hills, Calabasas. It's the Simi Valley right here. This is the valley. And that freeway is the 405 freeway to the right. The one there? Uh-huh. So that's how you get from... LA, greater LA, or Los Angeles up to the valley. And then Malibu Point Doom is right there, and we just passed Santa Monica and Venice. And you see how the layer clears up? It's just over the ocean. It's crazy. And it stops right there. It stops then. right there. And today, it's even not, sometimes you could really just see it right where the water ends, it stops. It's absolutely phenomenal how that works. Absolutely phenomenal. Good work. So here's what we'll do. I want you to keep doing what you're doing. Maintain 4,500 feet just by looking outside. And just do your very best at maintaining 4,500 feet. The, the horizon is tricky because of the mountains. Yeah. Oh, we have a little bit. Uh, do 4,500 feet. <coughs> And while you're doing that, I want you to move the yoke just like this, and I want you to feel the feedback the plane is giving you. Is okay. the plane responsive right now? Yes. It's pretty responsive, right? You tell it go left, it goes left. You tell it go forward, it goes forward, right? Yep. So that is what we talked about on the ground. That's feedback. That is the airplane's way of communicating with us. It can't speak with us. It That's the energy level. Correct. It's the energy, right? If I tell it to do this and it does that, That's, that's how much energy it has. If I tell it to do this and it doesn't do that, it doesn't have energy. So I don't need a screen, I don't need to know how fast I'm going, I don't need any of that in order to know how much energy I'm carrying in my airplane. Does that make sense? Yep. The more as a pilot you do this and you're aware of it and you're cognizant of it when you fly, the better, plane, you, become, the yeah. better you become. It's just a matter of awareness. It's, it's, it's listening to the airplane. It's not just flying an airplane, but it's also interpreting what it's telling you. It speaks back to us. So now keep doing what you're doing. Maintain altitude. I'll go ahead and reduce power here. And I want you to do your very best in maintaining this altitude. So whatever you need to do as the power is decreased and the energy is bleeding off, I want you to do your very best to maintain this altitude. So what are you finding yourself needing to do? Pull, 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 pull. Increase pitch attitude, right? I'm not trimming at this point. You can trim. You can do whatever you want. So why do we need to increase pitch attitude? to maintain altitude as the power was decreased. Because we have to increase uh, angle of attack. Good, in order to maintain that altitude. Now what if I told you I don't care about altitude, I just care about the energy. If I took your engine energy away, how else could you make up for that? Uh, putting the, the nose down. Good, so we exchange engine for gravity, or gravity for engine, does that make sense? Yep. So now lower the nose, and now we're regaining that energy back via a different method. It was engine power, now it's gravity. We're going downhill. It's no different than your car. When you drive your car, you have an engine. But could you go downhill in neutral? Yeah. But we're losing altitude now. Correct. Does that make sense? So it's always an exchange. Now I want you to do what we did before. Do this, which we did before. Do you feel a difference in how sluggish the airplane yeah, is? Yeah, it's more sluggish. More sluggish. Less reactive. Correct. It's less reactive. It's not as abrupt in reacting to your inputs. Yes, okay. So could you tell right now that the plane has less energy than it did before? It does, yeah. Easy, right? Yeah. It's just a matter of being aware of it, right? So now maintain altitude. Put 
to maintain altitude. Pick up that pitch hat. Pick up the nose. Pick up the nose. Good. Now what I want you to do while maintaining altitude is the same thing. Do that again. Is it more sluggish? It's sluggish. You see how there's a delay between this yes. and the plane yeah. listening to you? Yes. Sluggish, right? Yes. So that's what I'm talking about, listening to what the airplane is telling us. Okay. So we don't need the screen. We don't know how fast we're going. All I know is, you know what? I'm talking to it, and it's just very delayed in its response. Look at this. We go left. Look how long e it takes it. Do you remember how fast it did it before? Mm -hmm. Good. Here's power coming back. Keep doing what you're doing. Let's climb a little bit and let's uh, give me a left turn. Let's turn that way. Climbing turn? Yeah, perfect. This is good. Good work. Solid. Now, could the airplane ever be sluggish with power in? With a high power setting? Yes, if the, if the nose is... Uh, Good, solid. Uh -huh. Absolutely solid. So right now we have power in, right? In fact, we're 50%. Uh -huh. I want you to go ahead and enter into a climb steep enough to where if you do that, it'll be sluggish again. I'll even give you more power. So you see that sluggishness and power setting are not related. A little bit sluggish. Let's go a little higher. It's a little more and more sluggish. You feel that? And we have power in. Does that make sense? Yes. So power and sluggishness are not, are not related. They're not related. I could be full power hanging out at the critical angle of attack and the plane is feeling really sick. Does that make sense? Or I could be no power descending and the plane feels really good because we have different sources of getting energy. So if we pitch down right now, the plane is adding energy. Now look at this. Boom. Very responsive. See that? And there's no power. Okay, got it. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. yes so yeah. energy and engine are not necessarily related. We have different ways of getting energy on the airplane. Gravity or engine, gravity or engine. And it's a constant dance between one and the other. Easy? Yes. Good. So here's more power. Let's head a little bit. Let's go that way. Well, I have no idea where I am. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in California. Somewhere in California. Yes. There we go. Good. So that's clear in your head? Yes. Energy. So from now on, when you fly an airplane, I want you to do this every once in a while. Be cognizant of that. Feel the, the feel response. Feel the airplane. Of, uh, right. Right. Exactly. Just feel it. Don't be afraid of that. And then the airplane tells you, it speaks back to you, and it tells you how much energy it's carrying. Good. Now what we'll do is let's go ahead. Here's power. Let's go ahead and climb. Let's climb up. Give me. Uh, let's go. Let's go this this direction right over there. And let's just keep the climb coming. And let's stall the airplane a few times so we get comfortable with the stall. But I also want to show you what descending at right under the critical angle of attack looks, feels, and sounds like. This, uh, Eddie? This is good, yeah, 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 right here. It's perfect. Good work. So it's all about the energy. All about the energy. The more energy a plane has, the more responsive it is. And if we had an angle of attack, it will show. If we had an angle of attack indicator? indicator. Uh-huh. It will show. Correct. The angle of attack indicator is completely independent of power settings. So when the plane becomes sluggish, the indicator of the angle of attack would be very to the right, I mean, to, uh, close to one. It, it should be high. Uh, high. It should be high, correct. Yes. Correct, because if you're descending using gravity and you have a lot of energy, your angle of attack is really low. You're losing altitude. Here's what angle of attack is. You ready for this? Angle of attack is the angle between the direction you're pointing in and the direction you're, you're flying in. Pointing and moving, pointing and moving, pointing and moving. That angle, the further apart they are, the higher my angle of attack. The closer they are to each other, the lower my angle of attack. So what that means is that a spaceship that is pointing and moving vertically straight up 
Their angle of attack is zero. Make sense? Do they move the same direction as them? They point and move in the same direction. Easy? Yes. Good. Capito. Capiche. Good. We can speak Italian from time to time. Well, every once in a while. Let's do a little stall. It's a Napolitan. Let's do a Napoli stall. Okay, it's an airplane. Uh, let's see. So now let's do this. <clears throat> let's go ahead. Let's keep flying that way. Let's go that way. And I want you, whenever you get a chance, whenever you're ready, reduce power. Actually, I'll get the power. So here we go. Reduce power. So if you turn, you see this, if you lower the nose, you see this body of water right yep, there? Yep. So I'm taking your power away, and I want you to descend all the way to that lake, sounding the stall warning horn. So if the stall warning horn isn't sounding, that means we're two pitch down. We need to pitch up a little more. Did you cut the power? I cut the power. So there's no so, power. So I'm not touching the trim. Correct. You can, you can play with the trim if you want to relieve pressure, but uh, yeah, that's not related not connected to, you can do whatever you want in terms of uh, make it easier for you. But what I want to do is descend all the way down towards the ground, sounding the stall warning horn. And there should be a horn. Let me see. You know what? I heard there's the horn no. before, but there's no horn. So good. So you feel this buffet? The buffet. Oh, you hear yep. the horn? Yep. Good. So let's keep the horn coming all the way to the ground. So right now we're not stalled. Right? But we're hanging out right under that critical angle of attack. You see what this feels like? Now where there's a little bit of buffer. Buff it. Good. So this is what descending right under the critical angle of attack looks like. But we cannot touch the yellow roll at this point. Let's do a little less right rudder. A little left rudder? Le less right rudder. You have right rudder in there? Nope. So let's do a little left rudder. We are descending now. Yep, we're descending. So you see, if you look to the side, you see how we're coming down towards the ground? Yep. But we're hanging out right under the critical angle of attack. So much so that if you increase a little bit of pitch attitude, we would stall. Mm -hmm. You want me to do that? Yeah, let's go ahead and stall it. Let's stall it. And there's the stall. You feel the buffet? Yep. This plane doesn't want to stop flying. Feel the stall? Yep. That's a stall. And we don't even need power to recover. All we no, need is to reduce the pitch attitude. Now we're back flying. Feel that? Yep. There's energy back on the airplane. Make sense? Yep. And this is how a plane works. That's all there is to it. Now the energy is coming up through gravity. We don't have an engine, but look at this. It's responsive. It's responsive. It's responsive, yes. right? Responsive. It's pretty good. Yes. Yep. Yes. So here comes the power. Does that make sense? Yes. So really, that's how a plane works. It's all about energy. It's all about energy. And as pilots, we have the ability to give it energy from different sources. We have an engine, or we could act like a glider. That's how gliders do it. I mean, if you think of it, you don't even need an engine. You don't even need an engine. So you see, this plane really doesn't want to stall. It, it just wants to keep flying. It wants to keep flying. And if the wing drops, you pick it up with aileron and rudder. Uh, in a power on stall, rudder's your friend. You really want to keep it with rudder. Let's say power off, off. Power off, yeah. More aileron in a power off than a power on. Yeah. More aileron in a power That's off. That's always than a afraid power of it getting into a spin. Yeah. So, the, but do you know the recovery from a spin? Yep. What is it? It's uh, neutral, uh, it's, it's pair, it's power, power, power off, and row neutral, uh, rather full deflection against, uh, and uh, forward with the uh, elevator, and Good. then recover. Yep. To break the stall, yeah. Now, how do I know if my ball is centered without the screen? Without the screen? Yeah. So, right here, we're flying straight. Your feet are off the, off the rudder, on the, off the oh. thing? Check it out, let's do this. Let's do left turns, and then we'll do right turns. Left turns. Right turns. Now I want you to pay attention. Is your body moving immediately with the airplane or is there a slight delay? Slight delay. You feel that delay? Plane moves and then your body moves. Yes. You feel the delay? Yeah. Meaning your body is late to the game. 
the plane moves, and then your body says, ooh, we need to move too. Yep. Right? Now, I'm going ahead and I'm using rudders, and I want you to tell me if there's a delay or not. You ready? Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Is your no. body moving with it? Yep. Is there a delay, or is it one with the airplane? Looks like it's one. It's one with the airplane. So that's coordination. In coordination, right now, your body is moving right with the plane. You see that? Yep. So when we say a coordinated airplane, I'm sure you've heard this before, that's where the tail tracks directly behind the nose, right? That is when your body moves straight with the airplane together. So when that happens, the pressure that you feel on your body doesn't come from the sides of you. It comes from straight under you. So right now you, you we don't, turn... You don't. Your butt does not fold. Right. So the pressure comes from right under your butt. That's what we call, if you were to pull G's, is the same similar thing. Yep. So when you're coordinated, you're not being thrown away in your seat because you're one with the airplane. The pressure's coming from underneath. Anytime you feel like the plane is doing one thing and your body's doing another, and that's what they say, flying by the seat of your pants. Yeah, but you see that if you turn, if you want to keep straight uh, at high power, you, you need uh, the right rudder, but you don't, you're not turning, so this trick does not Climbing work. Climbing or maintaining altitude? You don't need any rudder when the ailerons are straight and there's no pitch attitude. So climbing, climbing. Climbing, you need right rudder for the P factor. Okay, but you don't, you're not able to feel with your butt. Right, so climbing, so right now, let's enter into a climb. Yep. Take inventory of what this feels like. So there's no rudder. Let's go full power. Take inventory of what this feels like. So what does it feel like on your body? Nothing. On your seat? Slightly pushing to the right. Good. Look at the ball. The ball's to oh. the right. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's think about this more. You feel your tuchus, your body moving oh, to the right? Yes, yes, yes. Look at the ball. The ball is like your body. So now tell me what your body feels like. Here comes right rudder. Oh, yeah. You feel more centered? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ball is I centered. Feel less, less pressure, less on, pressure my, on the on right. Right, part. right. So now let me go too much right rudder and tell me what you feel in your body. Pushing on the left side. Look at the ball. <laughs> your body is the ball. You feel that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention. So, you know, most people get into a plane and just go flying. You have to pay attention. Right now, does your body feel good? Yes. Look at the ball. So pay attention to how you feel, right? Whether you're turning, whether you're climbing, it's no different. Okay. And when you fly planes next, do that with the, uh, with the, with the plane and see how your body feels. And the more you do that, just like the energy before, um, right now, even in the turn, right? Even in the turn, we're turning right, the body feels good. The ball is centered. You see? We, we're centered. We're one with the airplane. We're not shifting in any one direction over the other. Yep. Even in a turn. You see that? Coordinated turn. Make sense? So, just like the ball moves. So, here's another thing. With your eyes closed, anytime you feel that you're being pushed to the right, you need right rudder. Anytime you're pushed to the left, you need left rudder. So now let's do this, and then we'll go to Camarillo. Let's go ahead. My airplane. Uh, I, I would like also to make uh, one or two steep turns yeah. by reference. Totally. Okay. My airplane. Yep, your airplane. So I want you to go ahead and let's go in this direction over here. Actually, here, I'll continue to climb. And I want you to go ahead. So right now I'm entering into a climb. And what I'll do is I'll maintain a coordinated climb. So right now, and I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Eyes closed. Right now, how does your body feel? Good. Center of the seat? Yep. Cool. Now I want you to pay attention and tell me what direction you feel like your body's moving to in the seat. Right or left? Right. Right? Open right. up your eyes and look at the ball. <laughs> yes. So you don't even need to look at your turn coordinator in order to know that we need right rudder. So now I want you to keep your eyes closed. Yep. All right, keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. And I want you to tell me what direction your body's moving in your seat. 
left. All right, open up your eyes. See how that works? So you are the ball. Your body is the ball. Wow. Never thought of that. Okay. Easy? Yeah. Easy, easy what? Schmoozy? Easy, easy schmazoo. Easy schmazoo. Okay. Good stuff. Make sense? Yes. Good. So now you felt what a coordinated airplane feels like and what a non-coordinated airplane feels like. Good? Good. Good. All right. Your airplane? My airplane. Screen is off. Let's do some steep turns as much as you're comfortable with. We're high enough. Go crazy. But I have to, to start from a uh, level point. So I don't want... We're, let's start with just in general. We're not looking to maintain altitude. We're not looking... Mm. I just want you to get comfortable in the airplane. So go in any direction you want. But I have to... Do whatever you need to do. Yep. Go in any direction. Let's do that right there. That's good. Go in any direction you want. And I just want you to get comfortable with the airplane and just go... Do some steep uh, turns. How about fuel? We don't need to change it. We uh, can do that. There we go. Okay. To your left. Yep. And you want me to do what? A steep turn? Uh? Just steep turns. Yeah, just get comfortable with the airplane. We'll fly the airplane a little bit closer to its flight envelope. Good. Just looking outside, trying to keep that horizon, trying to gauge whether or not we're gaining altitude or losing altitude by where the horizon meets our uh, dashboard or windshield. Here's a little clue. Anytime you go real steep, but you don't feel the G's, you're either climbing or descending. So right now we're really steep, but we don't feel G's. So we're descending. Correct. You only feel G's if you're steep and maintaining your altitude. Does that make sense? Okay. That's just a little clue. So now we feel more G's. That means we're descending a little less, but we're still descending. But we were more than 45. Correct. So we're really, really steep, but we're no G's because we're losing altitude. There comes the G's. Feel that? Yes. So that's a little clue. Anytime there's no G's, that means you're either not steep enough or losing altitude, not maintaining your altitude. So now in a turn, do we stall at a higher or lower airspeed? Higher. Good. So you see, airspeed doesn't really tell us anything. So now we're climbing, that's why there's no G's. So we're really, really steep, but there's no G's. Does that make sense? So. So we're not climbing. We are climbing. With no G's? We were climbing, yeah, yeah. No, because you don't have G's when you're climbing or descending. You only have G's when you're maintaining your altitude in a steep turn. Oh. The on oh, only when we are maintaining we have e and climbing, we do not have G's? Correct. Oh. Correct. I climbing is just like descending. Because you're letting the energy go away through a certain place. Okay. Yeah, because the variable is your altitude. So if you keep the variable, the altitude uh, constant, then that G's, the G's increase. So right okay. now, here. So we're really steep, but there's no G's because we're climbing. Okay. Right? Now we'll do the same thing in descent. We're really steep, but there's no G's because we're descending. Feel that? Yep. Good. So now we'll do the same thing, but we'll go ahead and maintain our altitude. So let's see what that feels like. Okay. See that? Yep. There's the G's. There you are. So it's just when you maintain the altitude and the energy has nowhere to go out of that I we feel know. the G's. I didn't know that. Yep. It's just a clue. If you ever steep turn and there's no G's, look at your altitude. You're probably climbing or descending. Or descending. Correct. Or climbing. Correct. Easy? Easy. Solid. Okay. Let's okay. go ahead and here's this. Let's go ahead and turn to a heading of 270. 270. 
And I'll load up the uh, frequency here for Camarillo. One, two, six, zero, two, five. Mission Tango, time 16550, wind 220 at 6, visibility 9 -er. ceiling 900 broken, temperature 1 9 -er, 2.14, altimeter 2 9 -er, 86, VOR GPS approach and use arriving departing runway 26, forming approach is on 123.75, all aircraft about culture instructions and normal sounds to the call sign, advise initial contact, Mission Tango. You're looking Camera for a particular altitude? 16550, wind we could descend to uh, 3500. broken. Send at 100 knot or 110, whatever. So power constant and maintain your speed with pitch. So reduce power to 25 percent. Approach 75 Tango Fox uh, 090 on the heading and looks uh, like we might have to do an instrument approach into Camarillo, which is fine. Sorry, 75 Tango Fox, shot, make your approach. Descend to maintain 4,000. Down Give to 4, a heading 000, of a 120. Then uh, request one, the two, runway 26. Happy request. Thank you, sir. And what was the Uh, Sirius Niner six six Tango Tango. Niner six six Tango Tango, we get approach. Say request. Yeah, we're uh, five or so to the uh, northeast of Camarillo, looking for the um, GPS two six RNAV two six into uh, Camarillo. If possible, we have uh, Tango. There six Tango Tango Squawk zero four six two. Zero four six two uh, six Tango. Tango. If you change your airspeed with the pitch, your VSI will change. Correct, because we're descending. I, I thought you were saying a constant airspeed descent. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you maintain 110 with your pitch, with a... Constant uh, power. With not only a constant power, but a deficiency of thrust situation. Because if I told you to continue to maintain 110 right now... You have to raise the nose. You don't have a choice. So you have to have a state of deficiency in power in order for a constant airspeed to result in a descent. Does that make sense? And that's how flight level change works. Flight level change, you the pilot created deficiency in power, telling the airplane to maintain a certain speed with pitch, and guess what its only way to do that? Lose altitude. It goes down. That's how flight level change works. And flight level change in a climb is the opposite. You give it a Excess, surplus. You give it surplus, excess thrust, and its only way to slow down with pitch is by picking the nose up. Okay, let's say 100, and if we want to descend at 100, we have to remove power. If you want to descend at 100, you have to remove power. Tango, Tango, Correct. radar contact, by south of Fillmore 6800, expect vectors uh, outside of Jurex. Position checks and Roger, 6900. Right. 6 Tango, Tango, turn left heading 040, vectors for sequencing. Get the radio. Zero four zero. Turn left heading. Say again heading. Uh, say again heading, please for six tango tango. For six tango tango, turn left heading zero six zero. Left heading zero six zero six tango tango. Good. Number five tango fox track traffic eleven o'clock three miles west now four thousand six hundred via four skyhawk. Looking no contact. Roger. Number three, number Delta, the Gulf Streams to your 12 to 11 o'clock, four miles eastbound, 4,000. Uh, what are we looking uh, to achieve as altitude? You know what? No. Zero, Let's do this. Zero, maintain Let's VFR do this. 4, Let's go to Santa Barbara. It's right over here. It's VFR five, conditions five, there. Zero, nine, okay. And then on the way back, if it burns off, we'll stop here. Okay. okay. Yep. So let's get on with approach. Actually, I'll do it. I'll do the dirty work. 
Let's go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll just cancel this door. And approach for a 966 Tango Tango. Actually, for the sake of time, we'll just head to uh, Santa Barbara. Uh, if flight following over there is possible, that'd be great. Uh, three number Delta has Gulfstream in sight. Six zero six zero. Three number Delta, Roger. We're six Tango Tango via left turn, maintain VFR, resume on navigation to Santa Barbara. Left turn VFR, ONAV, Santa Barbara, thanks. Six Tango Tango. All right, let's go uh, left turn. Five Tango Fox, right traffic has the inside as well. Yeah, we got them right there. And yeah, we could go ahead and maintain 6,500. So we'll go ahead and raise this to 6,500. So you can add power. And let's go ahead and fly. We'll go 65%. We'll go full power to 65. Actually, no, we're close to 65. We'll go 65% power for cruise. And we'll just head over to Santa Barbara. Okay. And then uh, that'll be good. Because it's a VFR day today. So we'll, we'll stick with looking outside. Good. Number six, Tango, Tango, maintain VFR at or above 5,000 for traffic. Maintain VFR at or above, uh, above 5,000 for traffic. Five, six, six, Tango, Tango. Number six, Tango, Tango, reset transponder squawk, four, seven, five, six. Four, seven, five, six, uh, six, Tango, Tango. Five, tango, Fox, right, turn right, heading one, five, zero. Heading so one, five, zero, five, TF. You see... So did you put uh I put Camarillo in here, but uh, what we'll do is we'll just we'll go ahead and do Santa Barbara. So you see what happened here. You can always ask something from approach and then you could change your mind. Does that make sense? Yep. Don't well, be we have a south west yeah. delta turn right heading 150. Don't zero. be afraid of that. Right, one That's zero, what he's there for. Delta. He's there to accommodate whatever it is you want to do, you the pilot want to do. So this is the uh, direction yeah, to that's Santa Barbara. Shot, so that's just Tokyo, you can follow the right yep, heading uh, keep 230 track the course and it'll take us all the way to Santa Barbara which is right here. Watch that 230 on the heading and maintain four to establish. And let's go 65% power. Runway 230 on the heading. Oh, the GPS remains green. Correct. The needle. Oh. <laughs> Correct. I okay. Um, Correct. So my butt is on the left. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Coordination. You could feel it. That's flying by the seat of your pants. So you could feel it. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel comfortable. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. You feel a little bit to the left. Feel a little bit to the left, the same thing. It's the same thing. So whatever your body feels, you could just do that with your, with your uh, rudder. Absolutely solid. So now we're on flight following to Santa Barbara. The reason I wanted flight following to Santa Barbara is because we need a contact approach in order to enter a Charlie. So okay. rather than just show up and contact approach there, I'm already on with him. So he will transfer us off to Santa Barbara approach in a little bit. But this is not the controller for the approach controller of Santa Barbara. Correct. We will get but a, he will hand us off. Right. This is Magoo approach, the uh, military. So in a little bit, he'll hand us off to Santa Barbara approach. November 3, November Delta. And then Santa Barbara approach Delta will hand us off to Tower. So now, we'll get some ATIS and uh, we'll listen to Santa Barbara. 3 0 maintain 3000, we'll establish clear for the RNAV 026, 3 number Delta. Magoo Gulfstream 869er Delta Lima, leveling 3000, heading 275. Alright, 8600 Delta Lima. 65. 5 Tango Fox, track, contact tower, runway 328. Tango Fox, good day. Angler is operating on the beach, 3 to 5 miles southeast airport, below 400 feet. No stair mission, but then contact Lima, 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 that may have been for us, but let's see if he says something. Yeah, we could go to 1450 on the EGT. Yeah, look at that. There's 14 gallons an hour and it's coming down. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
Now, if I let go, it goes down, so it's... it's November 3, November Delta, oh, contact tower, nice. 128.2, have a good day. Contact tower, have a great day, 3, number Delta. Good, so what are you realizing about how airplanes work, Arno? They fly okay. by themselves. Tango, Tango, you approach. Go ahead, 6 Tango. 6 uh, Tango, Tango, just for future reference, uh, SoCal Approach was letting me know that uh, the area you're in is in an acrobatic area, so with the rapid altitude changes and turning left and right, uh, just making big degree turns, uh, is not going to be uh, allowed over in that vicinity, especially with their arrival corridor, and then your altitude just creates a really unsafe zone over there, so just letting you know for future reference, um, that's not going to be allowed. Roger that. Just learned something. Thank you. It's not on the chart. Yeah, no, it's just every once in a while, like, flying to, from L.A. to, um, what do you call it? Um, what's the name of that island? Catalina. Catalina. So every once in a while, you'll fly at a certain altitude, and then when you get back, you'll contact approach, and they'll be like, hey, you were flying through arrivals into John Wayne and Long Beach, blah, blah, blah. So... You wouldn't see it on the chart as a VFR pilot, um, but it's one of those things where as you fly in a certain geographical area, yeah, you have to know. You, well, you just learn it as you go. It's one of those things where you learn. You, I, I don't train out of this area, right? So now I know this whole area is acrobatic. Um, and uh, But they cannot uh, violate you for that. No, of course not. Yeah, of course not. It's just, and that's, and that's where another thing, back we were talking in the classroom, about flight following. If you're on with approach, they know all the areas and they could keep you this, they could keep you that. So again, it's a great tool, right? If you want quieter cockpit to talk with your student, you gotta think, you know, does it make sense or not? But it's a great tool and it really keeps you in the know when you're flying in areas that you're unfamiliar. Because if I went right now to Montana and I flew in a busy training area, I, I don't know what's going on there. But approach deals with that area all the time. Okay. So it's just a great, just a great thing. So I just learned something. I love learning new things. Now I know another thing about the area. That's how that works. And where are we? What's the name of the place here? So this Ventura right here, so Oxnard, Camarillo, Ventura's off to the left, and then Ojai, California is right here. See the green area there? It's called Ojai. Ojai. Yeah. And then we're continuing straight along to Santa Barbara. Which Let is me, on the coast. Which is on the coast. Let me listen again to the... Angler is operating along the beach, three to five miles southeast of the airport, below 400 feet. The nose to air mission, potential aircraft IG gnomes in effect for Santa Barbara Airport. For further information, contact flight search frequencies. Obstruction rig, half miles southeast of Santa Barbara Airport, below 128 feet. Runway 15 right, runway and identifier lights out of service. Runway 7, approach light systems set to medium intensity continuously. All departures, contact clearance delivery on one. 32.9er, all arrivals contact approach control on 125.4. Voluntary noise bearing procedures in effect, advise on initial contact, you have information, uniform. See what the weather's doing. Santa Airport information, uniform time 16530, observation, wind 13010, visibility 9er, 600 scattered, temperature 18, 2.94, altimeter 29er 88. ILS GPS runway 7, and visual approach is in use, landing in departing runway 7, 15 left. Cool. We'll probably get one five left, and from the direction we're coming from, one five is we'll we'll basically one fives go this way, uh -huh. and so they'll tell us probably left base for one five left. No, I don't get it. So one fives face this way like that, uh -huh. and we're coming from here. So they'll tell us just left base. Oh, it's and left then base. Final. Yep. Correct. And what's the uh, TPA? The TPA is a thousand feet. A thousand feet. Let me just confirm that. Yeah, because this thing sits thirteen feet over sea level, Santa Barbara. Let me see here. So this will be, uh, it's not VFR conditions. It's it's scattered, VFR. scattered. Scattered, yeah, scattered, yeah, it's totally fine. It's not a ceiling. Uh, TPA is, yeah, 10, 13,000 feet. Okay. Yep. So in a little bit, we'll get a frequency change to Santa Barbara approach. And, um, yeah, we should be able to see the airport. So this is Ojai, California. How about uh, descent planning? How far are we from... Uh, to, to descend to glide to something? I would go to Oxnard right there. No, no, I mean, how, when do we start to descend? Oh, so let's think about it this way. If we want to descend at 500 feet a minute, okay. how many chunks of 500 do we have between us and 1,000 feet? 
Uh, 13. So we have 13. So if we descend 500 feet a minute, we could begin our descent 13 minutes out. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Perfect. But I can reduce power maybe. Uh, okay. yeah. And right now we're 10 minutes out, so we could begin a descent and it should be perfect. So you could check this so, out. Right now you're trimmed. Okay. Just reduce power. So See? I am trimmed for 140. Six, tango, tango, contact Santa Barbara approach, 125.4, good day. 125.4, Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara approach, 125.4, good day. Good. And you could say Santa Barbara approach, Cirrus, Niner 66, Tango Tango. 6,500 descending. Santa Barbara approach, Cirrus, Niner 66, Tango Tango, 6,500 feet descending. Number Niner 66, Tango Tango, Santa Barbara approach, verify information, uniform. We have uniform. We have uh, uniform, uh, 6 Tango Tango. Number 6 Tango Tango, follow the 101 freeway, enter left base, runway 15 left. To follow the uh, freeway and enter a left base for, for runway uh, 15. Left. Left. Six tango tango. Good. So we could reduce power. No clue where the uh, highway is, but. Highway's right, it's right in front of us. Basically the shoreline. So it's, it's okay. just this way. Yep. So, re so reduce power. To 25%, say? Yep. And don't see what touch the, anything. Don't touch anything and see what the plane will do. We're entering into a descent. See that? The nose will come down. The nose is coming down. So we don't trim for altitude because if we did trim for altitude, we wouldn't descend. Our pitch attitude See, would simply it's, go it's up. It's increasing. Well, not that much. Right. Again, it's not perfect, but we trim for a given airspeed at a given pitch attitude, which results in a given altitude, which in our case was 6,500 feet. Now, if you don't touch anything, add power. The nose will raise. And eventually continue to begin climbing. Make sense? Look at that, one, climbing. Okay, so we want to descend? Yep, so we can continue descending. Perfect. But typically here, wouldn't you start to, to move by pushing slightly on the nose? I do not descend no? by pushing on the nose. You just descend by reducing just. power. Once you're in the descent, you want to control this with your fingers. You could even adjust the trim, whatever it might be. So you do not initiate by pushing. You'll, Correct. You'll let, you let the plane do it by itself. Correct. On its own. Correct. You just reduce that power. You take its food away. 100%. Uh, do we put an OBS uh, marking here to, to see the, uh, the, the headings? To see the what? Uh, to have the final. Uh, oh, the final approach thing. So there's no visual approaches on no, no, this No, no, no. But if you if you put on on OBS uh, one five. Oh, the bearing pointer. No, the HSI. Or to 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 have a visualization of the of the traffic pattern, to know when you are on per perpendicular on base, when you are on downwind. The OBS one five. So what do you what do you mean? You go to Santa Barbara, instead of doing direct two, you use uh, one five, one five zero. Aspen 80, November traffic between... With the heading bug? Two and three o'clock. No, with the course. Northwestbound converging to the Cessna. Oh, to put the course, the one five zero. You could only do that on Perspective Plus and the newer Cirruses. Oh. Yeah. This is one Charlie Alpha traffic, nine o'clock, three miles northbound is a park. So you have that Navia, pink line, you extend 6, that pink 600. line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like From, From the, the airport, airport. yeah. Yeah, and I don't think there's any approaches for 1-5, yeah. But you say we're going to do, to go visual? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, we, the it's, airport should it's be... It's the opening there? Yes, the airport should be in uh, visual conditions. See how the layer ends there, too? Uh -huh. It's crazy how that, how it just ends where it ends. Um, what's the tower frequency? Uh, 128.2. Let me just verify that. Santa Barbara Tower is, I'm sorry, 119.7. 128.2 is Camarillo. Good, and we could go a little more to the right. Basically the shoreline is right under the cloud layer yeah. and there's a freeway there. So that's what they typically say, follow the freeway. 
Um, oh, the freeway is on the on the shoreline. Correct. That's the 101. Uh, your 101. Yeah. That goes to San Francisco. Correct. I want to say it's Pacific Coast Highway. Yeah. No, it's the Pacific Coast Highway. I think. Uh, I think the 101 goes further north. I want to say this is PCH, but don't quote me on that. Do you guys have lots of mountains in Belgium? Uh, no, not that big a mountain. It's a small. Uh, the biggest mountain in Belgium is uh, is uh, what uh, three thousand feet. Oh wow! Not even crazy. No, it's a flat land. Number one, Charlie Alpha, traffic, no factor. Thank you. Aspen 80, November, traffic, no factor. Contact approach, 124.15. You won't be able to see just because you, you you don't know what to look at, but I see the airport right there. Good morning, Falcon 805, Alpha Lima 6000. Aspen 80, November, 124.15. So this is Santa Barbara right here. Ever so the runway is that way. Correct. And we're coming. Correct. So the runway, if you put 8, this on 15, 8, 000, yeah. the runway is facing Delta down. Delta contact approach 124.15. Contact approach 124.15. And basically, the altitude is my discretion now. Delta 8, 000, 8, 000, 8, 000. So we told him descending, he did not tell you to maintain that or above a certain altitude. Vector visual approach runway 7. Right to A0, maintain 6,000, A0, 5, Alpha. Just because I said descending. Heading 150, heading 150, vector mission, Fatima Zulu. November 5, Alpha, we must verify information uniform. Vector mission. We have uniform, Alpha, Lima. 2, 6, Tango, Tango, contact tower. Contact tower, 6, Tango, Tango. Take off. 15, right, before take off, right, traffic, 9, Alpha, correct. So how far are we? Um, ten miles. Ten miles to the east. We are ten to the east. Yes. Santa Barbara Tower is serious. Uh, nine or six six Tango Tango nine mile to the east. Inbound full stop. Inbound uh, full stop. And let's go there. Serious nine or six six Tango Tango Santa Barbara Tower. Continue inbound over the freeway. Continue inbound over the freeway. Six Tango Tango. See the freeway? Yep. Yep. There you go. Easy schmazoo, folks. <laughs> Do you guys not say Office easy schmazoo in Belgium? Oh. <laughs> no. oh. Easy schmazoo. Oh, we need to do a, a, a pilot announcement. Oh. <laughs> oh let me clear my ears. <laughs> oh, here's the ocean. Yep, so that kind of ends that you should see the airport a little bit. Where's the airport? You should see it in a little bit. Now, my face the flight deck to captain speaking. Oh, just began our descent into Santa Barbara. Should have you on the ground about uh, five minutes or so. And at the gate just a few minutes after that. Looks like uh, beautiful uh, weather in Santa Barbara this morning. The uh, winds are light to the southeast at uh, beautiful 76 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Folks, I take this opportunity to thank you for uh, flying with us this morning. Sure appreciate your business. I hope seeing you uh, here again on a future flight. And at this time, I'd like to also ask our flight attendants to please prepare the cab for arrival. Thank you. There you are, in the flesh. You are wing one in a kind. <laughs> okay, but I don't see my airport. So let's maintain our altitude. Now, do you see that big runway over there? Oh, yeah. That's 2515 goes perpendicular. So we'll continue over here and then you'll see there's one five left and one five right. So you see how the airport is VFR conditions, VIC yeah, conditions? Mm -hmm. Cool. Sort of. Yeah. It's exactly what they reported, 600 scattered. 600 scattered. Sure, six tango tango, wind 150 at Niner, runway 15 left, clear to land. Traffic will be opposite base, parallel runway Cessna. One five uh, left, clear to land. Uh, six tango tango. Good. And you could go this way. Perfect. That's the one crossing. Correct. There's two crossing, left and right. So we are one five left. So we want one thousand. 
We want uh, thousand nine, nine or seven. Come back. Wind one five zero at Niner. Runway one five right. Clear. Touch and go. Traffic opposite base parallel runway. Cirrus. Uh, one five right. Three four touch and go. Uh, traffic on the opposite base. Niner seven seven. So, flaps one. Uh, fuel pump on. Good. Mixture, Mixture for rich. rich. Flaps uh, fifty. Flaps. We are okay for the speed. Yep. Below 119. Good stuff. And we are on base. Uh huh. So it's full flaps. Go full flaps, yep. There we are. Solida. Solida. Solida, Nina, por qué esta español? So we want 90. You can do 90, that's perfect, yep. And there should be traffic for the parallel runway, 15 right, so. We'll be aware of that. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome y'all to Santa Barbara. So here, if I let go, I want 90. You see 15 left, 15 right? Yes. There you are. One five left. Yes. So with parallel runways, you want to start turning sooner, so there's zero Not chance that we'll overshoot. It's just a good habit. See that traffic on final there for one five right? Beneath us. Santa Barbara, good morning. Five five hundred feet beneath us. Yeah, yeah. Lima, so they're going one five right. Eight, seven. So this way. Falcon eight zero five Alpha Lima, Santa Barbara Tower. Good morning. Wind one four zero at Niner. Runway seven clear to land. Multiple aircraft will land and depart crossing runway prior. Eight zero five Alpha Lima, clear to land. Runway seven. Well, he has the same accent like you do. He's probably from Belgium. Santa Barbara Tower, Cessna 738 November X ray, holding short runway 15 so right. So, power right, all the way out. out. All the way out. Cool. Oh. 738 November X ray, Santa Barbara Tower, stand by. Standing by November X ray. Good. We don't need any. 500. Power. No power. Let's slip it a little bit. Just like this. Look at that. Lots of drag. Now Sync rate. Pull up. Pull up. Pull okay. up. There you go. Sync rate. It's a long runway. Take your Sync time rate. leaning off all the energy. Good. Keep the nose off. Test my 8 November X ray. Wind 130 at 8. Runway 15 Beautiful. right. Cleared for takeoff. On the Welcome go. to Santa Next Barbara. Uh, we stop here? Yeah, stop here. One side right, clear for takeoff. Beautiful. Like traffic in November X ray. Let's make, uh, let me actually. Test nine or seven, Quebec. Change to runway one five left, make left coast traffic. Uh, left coast traffic for one five left, nine or seven, Quebec. Nine or seven, Quebec, unable left traffic. Test nine or seven, Quebec, Roger. Let's do, yeah, this is fine. Test 9 or 7, Quebec. Remain in right traffic and keep your downwind tight over the approach end of runway 7 for inbound traffic. Uh, remain uh, right uh, for one five right and uh, with a tight downwind 9 or 7, Quebec. Sure, 6 Tango Tango, ground point 7. Ground point 7, 6 Tango. 2 2 9 or 8 8. ILS GPS runway 7 and visual approach is in use. Landing and departing uh, runway 7, 1 5 left, 1. We could say Santa Barbara ground. Uh, Cirrus 9 or 6 is standing down, clear of 1-5 left on Echo, taxi two fuel pits. Two fuel what? Two fuel pits. Pits? T t taxi to the fuel. Okay. Because um, there's a little, yeah, taxi to the fuel. And this is Echo? Yep, on Echo. Okay. Clear of 1-5 left on Echo. Santa Barbara ground, the Cirrus 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango, clear of uh, runway 1-5 left on Echo, request uh, taxi to fuel. Six hundred six six Tango Tango Santa Barbara ground. Uh, understand you want to go to the self serve fuel. Affirmative. A firm uh, six Tango Tango. Sir six Tango Tango. Turn left on Bravo. Hold short of runway two five. Turn left on Bravo. Hold short of two five six Tango Tango. Ah, Santa uh, Barbara. This is the air conditioning. Your one echo Bravo this cross runway is one five left and one five right at Charlie. So welcome Hold to a class Charlie Seven Airport. Charlie Airport. Charlie Oh, I did that. Uh, one five left, one five <laughs> right. You didn't Charlie, even realize. Full short seven at Charlie on the frequency one echo Bravo. Class Charlie Airport. So you say clear of uh, runway. 
clear the one run runway 15 left on Echo. Totally forbidden in Europe. Really? Clear is only used for clear for takeoff. Ah, it's so interesting. And nothing else. So that would be runway vacated. <laughs> vacated. I should start uh, saying like that. Like I did. I should start saying that. <laughs> Santa Barbara Tower, I want to tell you, I am vacated the runway 15 left. <laughs> 1 5 left. It's been completely vacated by me. <laughs> You're good at Napoli accent. Oh, man. I, I tell you, I... Sure, 6 Tango Tango, cross runway 7 at Bravo, then turn left on hotel, hold short of runway 15 left. Cross 7 at uh, Bravo and all short of 1-5 uh, left, 6 Tango Tango. Good work. I come Here, one echo all Bravo the way from Napoli and then join Foxtrot Alpha full length. to only vacate this Foxtrot runway for you. Join Foxtrot Alpha full length and and you Bravo. must like the pizza. <laughs> the pizza. So we're good to cross. Runway 7. Clear right. Fuel service. Uh, on so it's there on the left. And then runway 7 is in use. So I cross the runway here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so you want to... And you could keep the taxi speed a little faster. There we go. Solid. Solid. And then... Said left on Charlie, short of 1-5 left. Six Tango Tango, left turn at hotel. Oh, there, cross 1-5 left and 1-5 right at hotel. Left turn at hotel, cross uh, one five left and right at hotel. Six tango tango. Perfect. Look at that. Solid. And then the fuel will be on the right. Good work, Arno. Oops. Solid work. Ideally, uh, you should I should prepare for the taxi lay layout because it's correct. It's an unfamiliar airport, and that's just good. Um, habit anywhere you fly.